After a series of patient care issues, regulatory scrutiny, and subsequent media attention, Baylor St. Luke's began a journey of becoming a high reliability organization. In January 2019, an initial site visit by CMS and CLIA into a wrong blood type transfusion patient death determined that a full validation survey would be required in a matter of weeks. Faced with serious findings and implications to the hospital's future, new leadership was added, committed to engaging the organization in needed improvements. Also committed to transparency, we posted the regulatory reports on our deficiencies along with a leadership message apologizing for the error and vowing to learn from our mistakes. In the weeks leading up to the survey, we empowered the entire organization to conduct a comprehensive review and assessment of operations, encouraging physicians and staff to submit facility work orders and incident reports in areas that needed improvement. We reviewed and updated hundreds of policies and procedures. We worked side by side with experts from around the country. We organized our improvement teams to round regularly and conduct clean sweeps at all locations. We conducted online education and training camps hospital-wide. We empowered staff to stop the line when needed, supporting a culture of patient safety. On March 25th, over 30 CMS and CLIA surveyors arrived on site to begin their survey. Over two weeks, surveyors examined all areas, tracing our facilities 198 times, examining files, interviewing staff, observing patient care areas, and meeting with department leaders and physicians. During their survey, the Baylor St. Luke's team engaged with CMS and CLIA staff on their expert perspective on our hospital policies and practices. The surveyors' feedback on these productive interactions confirmed the significant culture change underway. We trained over 3,000 leaders, physicians, and employees on personal protective equipment usage in four days. CMS surveyors recognized our team for developing and implementing best practices for our pharmacy programs and isolation room cleaning process. We increased timely and transparent communication, including a dedicated site, launching six videos in less than five days, and sending secure email and text message alerts. Our progress would not have been possible without the leadership of the board of directors and the executive team to engage and empower managers, medical staff, and employees to take bold action for improvement. We continue to identify and make changes needed to become a high-performing organization. This is the beginning of a new chapter at Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center.